How to enable executions of finishers in COD Mobile? Well, today I'm here to show you just that. In this video, we'll go through the steps to enable this exciting feature for both Battle Royale and multiplayer modes. So, let's jump right into it. To begin, open your settings and navigate to the basic tab. Now scroll up until you spot the quick knife option. This is where the magic happens. Enable the quick knife feature, and you'll be presented with two options, one tap and long press. For optimal performance, I recommend choosing one tap. However, if you prefer the long press method, I'll demonstrate that as well. Don't worry, we've got you covered for both modes. Once you've set up the quick knife in multiplayer, make sure to do the same in battle royale. Now, let's test it out in the training mode. When you approach an enemy from behind, an execution button will appear. It's important to note that the button will only show up when you're behind the enemy. If you're on the side or in front, the execution button will not appear. Executing enemies who are not moving, like campers, is relatively easier. However, it becomes more challenging when they're on the move. Keep that in mind as you engage your enemies. While executions can be performed in both Battle Royale and Multiplayer, it's worth mentioning that they are more effective in the Battle Royale mode. What if you prefer the long press method over the one tap option? No worries, here's what you need to do. Simply long press the execution button until the circular gauge fills up, and then you can execute the enemy. However, I highly recommend using the one tap method for faster execution, as it reduces the chances of you being eliminated instead. Currently, COD Mobile offers one free execution move, while the second one is exclusive to the Mythic Templar and requires payment. However, keep in mind that there might be additional free and paid execution styles released in the future. I'm curious to know your thoughts on this exciting new execution feature. Be sure to leave your reactions in the comments section below. That's all for today's video on enabling executions in COD Mobile. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you'll be able to utilize this feature to make your gameplay exciting. Until next time, don't forget to check out these recommended videos here, and I'll catch you all in the next video.